In this video tutorial, we will discuss C programming, if statement, if else statement, and nested if statement. We will learn syntax with examples. If, if else, nested if, and switch. These are most commonly used decision making statements in C program. Let's understand use of if statement in C program with example. We will understand use of if statement using C program to display good morning message based on given time. To say over time, I have already typed this program. Let's understand the key statement of this program. We are declaring one time variable using two statements printf and scanf we are reading time from user and then we are using if statement to check whether the entered time is less than 12 or not so this condition will be evaluated to true or false depending on the value entered by user through this scanf function if this value is less than 12 in that case, this expression will be evaluated to true and hence all the statements which are written between these two curly brackets will be executed. Finally, the last printf will be executed displaying appropriate message. So let's run this code to understand how if statement is working in this program. First of all, let's enter 10 as time. Now as 10 is less than 12, hence this condition is evaluated to true and because of that, the statement written inside this if is actually executed and that is why we are getting here good morning printed. And this printf have a nice time is always executed because this is outside if statement. Let's execute this program again. This time we will enter 14 as time. So as 14 is not less than 12, this condition is evaluated to false and hence this statement will not be executed and we will get only the last printf statement printed on our screen. So this is how we are able to execute some of the statements according to our requirement. So this is the basic use of if statement. Now let's talk about the basic syntax related to if statement. if is a reserve keyword followed by expression. Between two curly brackets, we write the statements that we want to execute when this expression is evaluated to true. So this is the example where we take one time variable with 10 value. When this expression is evaluated, so value of time is 10, hence 10 less than 12 is evaluated to true. And because of that, this printf statement will be executed. This is the flowchart of if statement. So this condition is evaluated as a part of this expression. This is the conditional block. So this is representation of this statements. So whenever this condition is evaluated to true, this conditional block will be executed. And whenever this condition is evaluated to false, this if statement is ended. As a part of condition, you can compare two variables like n1 less than n2. You can compare one variable with some constant value. You can compare one variable like temperature greater than 100. 
so using various comparison operator you can write your condition and depending on the answer of your condition the block inside this if statement are actually executed so this is how if statement is working let's understand the use of if else statement syntax of if else statement is slightly different than if statement if followed by expression and the block of statements one more keyword is used and that is else this boolean expression whenever evaluated to true statements written here will be executed when this boolean expression is evaluated to false the statement written inside else part will be executed let's see the example we have two variables n1 and n2 with initial 5 and 6 values as a part of expression we write n1 greater than n2 so in this case 5 is greater than 6 so this is false and hence the else part will be executed to understand this observe this flow chart this is the condition so as a part of condition we write a boolean expression whenever that expression is evaluated to true the code written inside if block will be executed and whenever this condition boolean expression is evaluated to false in that case the code which is written inside else part will be executed let's use if else statement using c program to save our time program is already ready two variables n1 and n2 this is the expression n1 greater than n2 so whenever this expression is evaluated to true this printf which is written inside if is executed and whenever this expression is evaluated to false the statement which is written inside else will be executed so let's run this code you can see n1 is 8 n2 is 6 hence this expression written at line number 7 is evaluated to true and because of that this printf n1 is greater than n2 is executed let's run this again but this time let's change this values 5 and 6 now when we run this we will get this printf written at line number 13 will be executed because this expression is now false and hence the second else part of this if else will be executed so this is how if else is working let's understand use of nested if statement nested if means if statement inside another if statement it allows us to test multiple criteria in c program nested if or nested if else can be written using different formats the basic format is if and expression inside if one more if statement so this is inner if statement this is outer if statement whenever expression of outer if statement is evaluated to true the inner if statement will be executed one more format if and in else part of the statement one more if statement so this is if statement written inside else part so this is also possible and likewise according to your requirement you can add multiple inner layers of if statement let's see 
nested if statement using example recall our previous discussion in previous example we were comparing n1 and n2 variables now imagine if the values of n1 and n2 are say like n1 is 5 n2 is also 5 in this case what will happen let's see when we execute this we will get line number 13 printf executed because this condition n1 greater than n2 is false and because of this else part is executed now this is actually wrong n1 and n2 are same so we can't print n2 is bigger than n1 so let's modify this code and we will use nested if now so here we will modify this program to understand use of nested if statement example of nested if statement so i'm going to add one more if statement inside this else block just observe now we will write if n2 is greater than n1 in that case print n2 is bigger than n1 and in else part print n1 and n2 are equal so this is a slight modification in the logic but this time we are writing if inside else part let's save this code and let's run this code now and you can see n1 and n2 are equal that line is printed so this is how you can use nested if statement you can use many logic to solve this problem but this is one of such logic which you can use one more thing which i wanted to point here is if we want to execute only one statement inside if in that case there is no need to write this curly bracket so here this printf is a part of if statement but it's only one statement that is why even if you are not writing curly bracket this is okay and we will get same out same way in else part as this is only one printf statement even if we remove this and even this so this printf will be considered as part of this if this printf will be considered as part of this else but as here there are four lines as a part of this else we have to use curly bracket here let's run this code again and we will get same out so the point of discussion here is if we want to write only one statement as a part of if or else block in that case curly bracket is optional otherwise we have to write curly bracket 